Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you today, the 22nd of March, 2020, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As a result of the Barbados National Health Pandemic Plan, the Prime Minister of Barbados, Mayor Moore Monty, and the Minister of Health, Lieutenant Colonial Jeffrey Bossick, have encouraged Barbadians to remain at home as not to further transmit the COVID-19 virus, which has presently been found in Barbados. Six new cases have been confirmed in Barbados, and we have been asked to remain at home as much as possible as not to further spread the disease by human interaction. In light of this development, the leader of the In Christ Church of Christ have taken the decision to suspend service for the next two Sundays and until further notice. This includes all services and all meetings as we adhere to the official warning to stay at home as much as possible. The Enterprise congregation comprises of many older members with many underlying conditions like asthma, and diabetes, and heart condition. We therefore decided to act responsibly with the lives of our members. In light of our pastoral care, we have determined to continue to serve our church in the best way that we can, our spiritual responsibility. We want to develop services to stream them online from YouTube and from other sources so that our members can still be in touch via um, um, the internet. We want to reach out to those who are shut in and who will need our help and we intend to do this as much as possible. We want to keep in touch with each member by telephone or by, via the internet. Um, the internet is a wonderful tool that we want to use today for this occasion. And we want to continue to pray. We want to continue to pray for the members of our congregation. Please don't hesitate to call us. The church telephone number is 243-6410 and you can reach me anytime. We need to pray for one another at this time. We might not be gathering in a building, but we are the ecclesia. And the ecclesia means that we are the called at once. God has called us out and has sanctified us for his use. We want to continue to call each other via Skype or by telephone or by WhatsApp. or We want to encourage each other to remain faithful at this trying time in our lives. None of us have been through anything like this and therefore we need to be there for each other during this time. Please send us your contact information so that we will send you recordings and other information that you may need. Brothers and sisters, we have come this far by faith. Faith in our God. The Bible tells us in Romans 8.28, and we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and who are the call according to his purpose. It is at this time that we will see and prove what God means in his word, that he will work all things together for his good in our lives. I encourage everyone to stay safe and not to take unnecessary risk. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 says, Being confident of this one thing, that he who have begun a work in you will complete it unto the day of Jesus Christ. This tells me that he will complete the work that he has started in you and also in me. That that work will continue until the day that we leave this earth. I be believe, beloved, that we will get through this enterprise we are going to get through this. In Barbados, we will get through this. The Bible tells me that even though we go through difficult circumstances, that God, the God whom we serve, will never leave us, neither will he forsake us. In 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love 
another sound mind. We continue to encourage you to remain faithful and to take every precaution to remain safe. We will weather this storm together. Let us be encouraged as we trust God and hold fast to his promises. I pray that the Lord will richly bless you at this time and that he will continue to grant us favor as we continue to walk with him. And I believe, as I always say, this too shall pass. May the Lord richly bless you. I want at this time to pray, to say a special prayer for the members of our congregation, the members of Barbados, and the people that are going through the situation. It must be difficult for all of us, not only in Barbados, but throughout the world, as we experience this phenomenon that we have never experienced. And so I want to pray for families today, and I want to pray for the sick and the afflicted, and I want to pray for the needs of people, the needs of those who will lose their jobs on behalf and uh, uh, during this time. So I want to pray a special prayer, and I want you to join with me as we pray together. All Christians, as you see this on the internet, I want you to, for us to stand together, to pray together, to believe God together, that God is able to do much more than we could ever dream. So as I pray, I want you to pray along. Tomorrow has been designated as a day of prayer, and I want for all of us to come together, wherever you are, and I want you to pray. Prayer, believing that God is able to do good, that God is able to turn it around, that, and that when we come through this, that we'll be bad, better instead of bitter. Join your hearts with me as we bow in prayer. Father, this evening, God, we, we thank you for the, this opportunity, for the internet, that we can come and, and Lord, we can touch lives all over the world. We can touch lives for the globe. And Father, we are praying for the members of the Enterprise Congregation and Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will bless us at this time. You will bless each and every one of them, Father. Bless those who will be affected in, in a great way. We ask that God, you will heal those, Father, who have experienced situations, Lord, that, that Father, troubling. I ask that God, you will bless and touch the lives of your people today, Father. Bless this congregation. May you continue, Lord, to bless each member, Father. Cover them under the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And Father, by extension, we pray for Barbados. I pray that, Lord, you will touch the lives of Barbadians everywhere. That, Father God, we will look to you. We will turn from our ways and we turn to the living God, Father, to acknowledge that you are good and that your mercies endure forever. I ask that, Father, you meet the needs of every heart, Father, how souls will be affected. And I pray today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that, Father, you are a provider and that, God, you would provide because, Lord, there's nothing that you cannot do. And I pray for special provision, Father, over your people, Lord. Many will lose their jobs as a result of this. And I'm asking you that, God, you will make a way that you made a way, Father, in the wilderness. I pray, Father God, for the sick and afflicted, that, Lord, you would reverse this situation, that they too, Father, will get better. And this too shall come to pass in their lives, Father. I pray for the needs of our country, the needs of this nation, the needs of, Father God, of your people, of the church. I pray that, Lord, we will rise up, Father. And, Lord, you give us a heart of compassion as we reach out to the lost, as we reach out to those who are in need. I pray, Father, that you will provide and that God, as we reach out, Father, lives will be touched and people's lives will be turned around. Father, this is the best time, Lord, to let others know about your goodness and mercy and your grace. Lord, many are afraid. And we, Father, come against the spirit of fear and we ask in the name of Jesus that, Lord, your Holy Spirit will grant faith and courage as we rise up and believe that all things are possible with you. God, you've been good to this nation. You've been good to us. And we pray, Father, that, Lord, you will bring us through this. Lord, there's nothing that you, Father, cannot do. And, Father, we believe. And I believe in my heart, God, that you're going to bring us through this, Father. I thank you, Father. As we bow in prayer today, Lord, may your grace, may your strength be known in our weakness. May your love, Father, God, be bound in the hearts of your people. And may we, Father, come together. May we put away pride and selfishness. And may we bow to the King of Kings, recognizing that, Lord, you've called us for such a time as this, Father. We thank you, God, for the many blessings that you've given. We ask that, Father, as we humble our hearts today, 
that Father God be just so knowing that you're good and that you will bless us and that you'll be with us. Father, can you to comfort us? And Lord, we thank you for bringing us through this storm. We thank you, Lord, for your provision and your protection. We thank you for your grace. And Lord, we bless you because, Father God, Lord, you have been good to us. Lord, we thank you. Be with us now, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.